Electricians, carpenters, and more clock hundreds of hours at Woodlawn Elementary School. But this building is vacant. We told you last month the city denied that construction was for a migrant shelter. CBS 2's Lauren Victory is always investigating, and she's learned the mayor's office wasn't really being transparent. October 24th. Our cameras capture several trucks parked outside this empty Chicago Public Schools owned building, the old Wadsworth Elementary. An email that day goes out from Alderwoman Jeanette Taylor. It tells her constituents the building will be a site to receive migrants. But CBS 2 hears the opposite from the mayor's office the next day. There are no plans to use the vacant Wadsworth Elementary School as a temporary shelter for newly arrived asylum seekers at this time. So what were these trucks doing here? And what about these pictures we obtained from construction inside? CPS told us it's routine maintenance work. That really didn't make sense, so CBS2 filed a records request. And look at this email that turned up from October 6th, a formal request by the city that the school be prepared for usage as a congregate shelter as part of our migrant arrival operations. A facilities director replies with the to-do list, a lot of cleaning, install washers and dryers. He says CPS is working on toilets, urinals, bathroom partitions, and he adds they want the place in two weeks. 11 days later, work orders start coming in. Notice migrant assistance or new arrivals in several descriptions. Interestingly, audio system and press events is one of the tasks from the mayor's office. Yet Lori Lightfoot's spokesperson told us no shelter is going here. So what happened? Public pressure, says Alderwoman Taylor. They made a mistake. They didn't count on um, me and my community saying it didn't make sense for it to go there. We calculated nearly 400 hours logged at the school in October. Public funds seemingly wasted. We are curious uh, what you are using taxpayer money for to prep for migrants. We're about making sure that we can do the work and prepare for every contingency. So we looked at a number of different locations all over the city and obviously vacant schools were on the list. So why tell us there were no plans to use this vacant school as a shelter? You got the work orders. You, you foiled the information. So who's lying? At that City Hall press conference today, we pressed the mayor further about the discrepancy between what her office told us and what the public records show. She said just because someone looked at something doesn't make it the final decision for migrants. By the way, we asked her representatives why that school was considered, then taken off the list, and they never got back to us. Reporting live at City Hall, I'm Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Lauren, trying to get to the bottom of that. Thank you so much.